Hello everybody, welcome back to Mover Ruins Movies. I am Mover C.W. Lemoyne, author of the Spectre series and the Alex Shepard series. If you're looking for a book uh, in the military aviation espionage genre, check out the Spectre series starting with Spectre Rising. Uh, it does help support the channel. Today uh, on Mover Ruins Movies, if you're not familiar, it's been a while since we've done these. Uh, typically I react to uh, movies or TV shows or video games, uh, mostly tongue in cheek, so uh, trigger warning applies because sometimes people take it very seriously and today I expect probably it's going to get rough in the comment section because based on popular demand uh, widely requested uh, the ARC Films uh, short End Run which is the story or based off the story of the February strike from India into Pakistan in uh, if I'm pronouncing Balakot it's it's based on that. It's not 100% uh, true, I guess, but uh, it's a little six-minute movie uh, that uh, covers that. So today we'll take a look, and I hope you enjoy it. Three, two, one, fight off. Uh, here we go. In run, full movie on YouTube and play. Arc Films, End Run. Fictional story inspired by real events. 26 February, 2019. Indian warplanes are returning from conducting a preemptive strike to terrorist launch pads. Requesting immediate aid. I looked at the uh, Wikipedia on this, and it claims that they actually didn't hit anything, but we'll see. Good fireworks, guys. Weapons check. Oh, he's got a hung bomb, and they're flying in fingertip. So that's right. The yellow stripe means it's a live bomb. That's a valid thing. Oh, my God. What is this CGI? Control. Status on F-16. On your six, 102 kilometers, flying at Mach 2. Ooh, that's pushing it for a Viper. I mean, that's the top speed, but probably not. They're in blower, just running away. Mirage 2000, I know about this because of DCS. Turn south. Okay, so the F-16's turned away. Uh-oh. Representation of Pakistani LY-80 SAM system. I think you'd have known that already. They're going to launch the missile from the ground the moment the F-16s exit the range. I mean, that's a real RWR. <sighs> so they're going to avoid the missile engagement zone of the SAMs. Boy, that, I would turn the lights down in the cockpit. There's got to be a glare off the canopy if everything's lit up like that. Yeah, I think I read on the Wikipedia like 12 aircraft were involved in this. Or at least that's what they said. That's quite a lot for just one strike. I'm being painted. Spiked is uh, one way to say it. Evade, evade, break formation. CGI is not too bad. So they're launching a SAM at him. Throws down his NVGs. Why, why didn't you have him up the whole time? I'm with you though, dude. I don't like flying. They're worse if you leave them up like that. So either on down or in the case, I wouldn't leave them. Uh, flares probably aren't gonna do a whole lot against the SAM except ID your position. 
at night. So, and probably blind your wingman if he's on NVGs, because those flares are bright. You want chaff, or as Discount McConaughey says, chafe. He's avoiding with his hung bomb, which is fine. Garud. No joy, where is it? Oof. We're we gonna do a missile chase scene again, like uh, the other one we did, Sherdil. Will Sherdil show up in this? No, this is mostly more accurate. I mean, that's a pursuit course. So it's not chasing him around. That's a lot better. Oh. Do it now! Last ditch maneuver. Flares aren't doing anything for you. Just ID in your position. <laughs> uh, oh, he's hit a couple trees now. Oh, there it is. There's the missile chase scene. They just can't help it. Flares and a missile chase scene. Why not? No. Oh, is that the end? Oh, this is the beginning. At zero four hundred hours, what you just saw, as pilots risk their lives every second, they are in a hostile territory. There are no propaganda in the Indian Air Force. Only real missions and real threats. Bravery and physics. Arc films. So is this the trailer or the real thing? Oh, that's it. Wow. That was entertaining. But what happened? This can't... This can't be the whole... The whole thing. Okay, well, we already did that one. Oh boy, okay, so what do we think about uh, Enron? Well, a couple things. One, I, I got this on the last one. Um, well, let's start, let's go back. First, um, I mean, it's, for a six minute movie, it's actually not, too, I didn't even realize it was over. You know, I thought, you know, it was still going. Uh, so it did definitely keep my attention and was entertaining. Uh, definitely all CGI with all the cockpits and stuff. You know, you can tell that it's it's all CGI mock-ups and stuff like that. But uh, as far as CGI goes, I mean, it's not terribly done. Um, you know, and, and it was de definitely interesting. I'm not sure why it just ended like that, though. I was hoping there would be kind of more to it or kind of a punchline or something. So I'm not really sure uh, why that ended. But um, I know I made a comment about missile guidance and stuff like that. So the LY-80 is uh, based on a Chinese HQ, uh, was it 16 Alpha, uh, surface air missile, medium range. So that missile system is semi-active radar. Um, flares aren't going to do anything against it. So, um, you know, it's, the, the flares are going to be ineffective. But the other part is this concept of missiles chasing. Uh, and in the uh, Sherdil that I did in, in Behind Enemy Lines, there's a big misconception, and people tell me I'm wrong all the time, which I always laugh at, um, that when a missile guides, it will chase you. And that's not how missile guidance systems work, and that's not how any kind of missile works. So there are various types. I'm not going to get into academics on how a missile guidance system works, but there's command line of sight, there's proportional navigation, there's homing, uh, there's passive homing, semi-active radar, all that stuff. And what those do is they give the seeker uh, guidance law to track the target. So it'll track the target up to a point. Uh, you know, for example, proportional navigation where it tries to keep something s steady in the seeker, not moving, which means it's going to collide and hit it. Um, these missiles are going at extreme speed. So basic tactical airspeed for just about any fighter is about 400 knots, 0.9 Mach, you know, maybe faster, maybe a little bit slower. A missile is traveling between Mach 3, Mach 5. I mean, they're, there's a wide range, but they're pretty fast. So it's closing at a very rapid pace, and then once it gets there, if it misses for whatever reason, that's it. You know, it, it either attempts to detonate when it gets within a certain proximity or it just keeps going. 
there is no turning and following and all that stuff because if it follows, it is going so much faster that the closing rate, it's, you know, it's gonna hit you. I mean, there's no ability for it to do the Wile E. Coyote chase scene because it's just going too fast for that to happen. And it has a lot of in-game energy, but it doesn't have the energy to follow you around through canyons and all that stuff. So like in this video and um, in Shardil and stuff like that, once it, you know, he's going downhill, once it, it tries to guide, once it misses, it misses. There's no ability for it to square that corner and then start chasing him around because it's just going too fast. So that's kind of a misconception. I think people watch too many cartoons, but that's just not how guidance systems work. I mean, they do track and, and they do home into stuff, but they're not going to follow you around. Uh, like a puppy dog or make you know sharp turns and then go head on with you and all that stuff that's just ridiculous hollywood stuff but it is a, i mean it was a decent short it was entertaining um i you know calm is calm it's always going to have you know hollywood or bollywood isms in it but um you know well done i'm sure it was relatively low budget compared to you know some of the bigger pictures but uh, I thought it was, you know, not too bad. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, remaining on this week, we've got um, Microsoft Light Sim 2020 coming out. So I'm going to try to do a vlog on that. It's the first anniversary of my ownership of the Corvette ZR1. So I want to do a one year review uh, of my ownership and kind of, you know, how that's been to date. Uh, also got uh, that th part three of the DCS uh, Air Ambulance in Dubai. Uh, and we got to do a mover uh, mailbag uh, later this week because I've got some mail accumulating. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this episode. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Excuse me. Oh, no. Oh! oh man, a lot of them. Oh, Usually fly with the doors off. Don't be a douche. Rule number one. Make them tell you now.